so I have one more wall to frame. Um, I can't frame it like I framed the other walls because there's no room to do it and if I were to ply with it, it would just be a nightmare. So what I could do is stick frame it, basically build the wall vertically. So I'd have to put a stud in standing straight up and then climb a ladder to the top and nail the top stud. And then after I get everything nailed in, up and down on the ladder a lot of times, uh, I would have to go back and put the top plate on. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a makeshift platform out here. I'm just going to put three posts in the ground with a, uh, like a ledger board on it and I'll sit the wall on top of it and then I'll raise it up into place, square it, sheet it, tie vec it and I'll be done with this wall. So the first thing I got to do is cut some posts and figure out where they go and put them into place. So I'm just going to use some scrap 2x4s that I have left over. Um, when you want to drive them into the ground, just do one cut in it. Don't make a V. It'll drive into the ground better. So I put these three posts at approximately nine foot off of that, that plate. Um, so my wall is going to be hanging off just a little bit from there. Now I'm just going to take some two by fours and nail them to the side. And the tops of those two by fours will be level, roughly level with the top of the trailer. I'm just going to take a two by four and I'll set it on top of the, the plywood deck. Place my level on top of that two by four. The post is running long. I'm just going to go back and cut it so it's just below the top of this. So I need 11 studs to frame that wall. So I have all 11 laid out on some horses here. I'm going to mark them out at the uh, correct length, which is, for my case, it's 9 foot 7 and an eighth. If you had a chop saw, you could set that up and set some blocks up and cut all these on that. but. To me, my chop saw weighs 300 pounds. I'm not going to drag it out until I start doing my trim. Dude, I'm going to smell like such a wet dog. It's not going to be funny. Since I'm putting a window tight to this corner, I can't do my, uh, my standard corner with the studs with one like this and one like that. So I'm going to just make it completely solid. So what I did was I ripped some half inch plywood and that gives me three and a half inches. And then I'm going to come off that wall with an extra stud, and then I'll nail a jack to this, and then I'll have my header coming off of this. This is where that plate goes. If I were, I can't get this nailed into here, so I'm just going to nail it here, and then I'll slide it over into it. One easy thing about this wall is that all my jacks are already figured out so I can just go back to other walls and look for the numbers that I wrote down. If I can't find them I can just measure the jacks that are there. Uh, all my cripples are figured out, everything's already done. So I just have to get those numbers and cut the pieces and fill in the rest of this wall. Mm -hmm. 